So Connor got me this beautiful Kodak Brownie Target 616 um, 620 camera for Christmas, knowing how much I love vintage cameras. And uh, one thing that I noticed is that the vertical uh, viewfinder, this one here, when you look through it, was black or was dark. You couldn't see through it. So I found that if you take the faceplate off the camera, there's just four screws that hold it in the corners here, uh, this mirror that fits right here had come loose. The adhesive had come loose over time. <clears throat> you can see the one for the horizontal viewfinder here. But I figured while I had the faceplate off and, you know, cleaned it, cleaned the lenses, um, cleaned the mirrors, which fortunately are rear surface mirrors, not front surface mirrors, so they're not quite as delicate, uh, so easy enough to clean. And I'll stick that back in in a, in a moment. But I figured while I had it open, the mechanism for the shutter on this thing is fascinating. It's got two apertures. This lever on the top controls the aperture. And this lever on the side controls the shutter speed. There's one shutter speed for instantaneous. I believe I read that it's around a 45th or a 50th of a second. That's in this position. If you pull this out, it uh, gives you a bulb exposure. So it'll stay open, the, the shutter will stay open as long as you hold it, uh, hold the shutter release down. So in the instantaneous mode, when you trip the shutter, it does that. In the bulb mode, when you pull this out, the shutter stays open. And what's interesting then is in that bulb mode, you can see the effect of the aperture. It's just a, a metal tab that has two different size holes in it. There's a smaller aperture and there's a larger aperture. When you let go, that closes the shutter. Just a fascinating mechanism. So anyway, thought I would share that while I had it open for cleaning because I'm not likely to open it again. And there you go. Gonna put it back together.